Hey guys, welcome back. Last time we took a look at how we can use get object 404 to show a 404 page and not throw an error in our app if a resource is not found on a server. For example, here you will see that we are trying to access this one, but it doesn't really exist. So you might be asking yourself, how do we really customize what the user is seeing here? Or maybe provide a way for them to go back to the application. Because right now they are just locked out and there's no way for them to go back to the application. So in this video, we're going to be adding a custom 404 page where we can add like a link to go to the home page or login. So first off to mention, this will only work when debug is set to false. So when this is set to true, Django will be throwing for you all the errors you want. So if we came here, let's say we reload this. So this is for the developer to know what exactly is going on. But when debug is debug is false, that means that we likely are running our app in like production. There's no reason why we should show these kind of errors because the user doesn't care. But what the user cares about is having an efficient way to use your application. So let's go ahead and create a custom 404 page that can have a link to go to to go back to the application. So what we need to do is uh, we need to basically create a template that we are going to be serving to the user, the custom one, not this. So the way we create that is we can create it anywhere. So I'm going to go to our template. So in our templates here, I'm going to have new file. Then I'm going to call it not found dot html okay so once we have this for now i'm just gonna have an h1 and then i'm gonna say you you lost you are lost so here i'm also going to have a link so here i listed a user that here are some helpful links then we are just going to have a url Let's just have a link to go to the home page. So let's have home. So in here we will have an A. So A. Then let's move home in there. We we'll just say go back home. Okay, so for the href, we are just going to do the same thing we have been doing. We're just going to use our URL. So URL. Then the name of the view we want them to go to. So remember we called it home. So this one is the view we want to be redirecting to. So currently our home view is this one. If we go to our URLs, this is the one. This is where we want them to go. So that means that here we basically have this one set up well and good. So now we need a view to serve this. So for the view to serve this, this is going to be like global to our application. So what we want to do is we want to put it in helpers. So here I'm going to have views.py. So here we need to import a render because we want to render a template. So from Django shortcuts, import render. So here we can have a function. So we're going to call it handle not found. So it takes in two things. That's going to be the request and also the exception. So you notice that in our other, other normal views, we are not passing in the exception. But for a, a view that handles the 404 not found, we need to pass that exception. So here we can return our render as normal. It's going to be we pass the request. And also we need to pass the template name for which in our case it is in our templates, then not found. So it's not under any folder. So we can just access it by doing not found.html. So since Django already knows where our templates are, it will it will find it. But if it can't find it, I will highly recommend that you make sure that in your settings.py, where you have your templates, you have this there and Django is going to be able to find it. Okay, so now that we have that, we need a way to put it in our URLs so, so that Django can basically have a way to access that URL. So we can go to our main application urls.py. So that's going to be at... Uh, to do site then urls.py so down here we want to enter something special called handler 404 so this now we can put a path to our handler view that's going to be helpers.views then the view name is called uh, let's see so helpers views handle not found so that's what we want to have here so now if we save this and come back to the application and refresh this you see we get you are lost and the user can now click here and they go back to the application okay so yeah so that's gonna do it for now so for this to work like we said it has to work when debug is false so don't let that one confuse you 
so i'm gonna be pausing the video here in the next one i'm gonna be showing you how to handle some other errors so thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you in the next video